Hello, my beautiful friends. How's everybody doing today? And if you're new, we are so excited that you're here. So today we're going to be testing out a new complexion product by Kosas. You know how much I love Kosas, so I'm super excited about this. So let's not waste any time and let's go test this one out. So I thought we could do things a little different. I've already applied my eye makeup because I really want to focus on these complexion products. Uh, but what I used on my eyes was this palette here, the Makeup by Mario. I love this palette. I think it's super simple to use. I love the color story. They're super easy to blend. Love this palette. I use it all the time. I did use a little corner lash and I used my one by BK Beauty. Risa does makeup collab. I love these little corner lashes. They're so easy to apply. Love them. And then of course I did line my eyes with my holy grail uh, liner here. I love this liner. Okay, you guys, let's uh, see about this product here by Kosas, and it's called the Glow IV Vitamin Infuse Skin Enhancer. So this comes in 10 shades, and it retails for $38. I think it's, you know, kind of like the um, e.l.f., that Halo Glow one. Uh, I think it's like the same concept. And I did get mine in the shade Light Medium a Champagne. So let's read up a little bit about this. It says it's all over glow to hydrate the skin. In. You can mix it in with, you know, your skincare or a foundation, and you can use it like as a highlighter. It has Vita Glow D, which is super good to hydrate your skin. It has glutathione, which really brightens the skin, and aloe extracts that nourishes the skin. So super excited. It has a lot of skincare um, benefits in here, which is always good, you guys. So let's take a look at uh, the packaging itself. So, ooh, it comes like in a squeezy tube here. Um, and hopefully this isn't too deep, you guys. But you know what? My e.l.f. one is a little too deep and it really doesn't make a difference. So um, I think I'm going to use it. A oh, it has a pump dispenser too. So let's just place it on my hand and see what it looks like just even on the skin. So this would be good just like the e.l.f. one on a no makeup day. I would like to do a side by side. Okay, you guys, this is taking forever to come out. Okay, finally, it came out. Ooh, you guys, this looks very deep. But I am just going to rub that in. And let's just see. Ooh, that is super pretty. Yes, it's very hydrating. My skin, you know, my hands are super dry. And it just feels very nice on that. Very soothing. So, ooh, once it's blended out, that looks beautiful. As you can see, the difference that that just made. There is a slight scent. But I know that uh, Kosas is a clean um, brand, the cruelty-free and vegan. So I don't know what the scent is. It could just be part of the skincare. So what I think I'm going to do, you guys, is apply it on one side of my face. And um, and then the other side of my face, I do want to mix it in with some um, of the foundation just to see the difference. But then I am going to apply foundation all over the face because I'm actually going somewhere today. So I think I'm just going to use one pump. And I did read up on this. It says that, you know, you can use your fingertips or a sponge. And that's how they suggest. Now, if you put it in or mix it in with your foundation, I think using a brush would be uh, just fine. Okay, this is very similar looking. Um, it's a little bit more glowy, I would think, than the e.l.f., uh, but as you can see, the difference in my skin. But we're going to let this dry down a little bit and just see if that glow does go away because um, on my hand, it's not going away, but it does change. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I guess it looks, you know, more wet when it's first applied. It's just a little bit more glowy. And this one, it almost needs light to reflect off of it to get that glow, if that makes any sense. So, um... I'm not seeing any glitter. I don't believe, maybe slightly, you guys. There might be a little particles. But I am just seeing a lot up in this area. So I think what I'm going to do is um, just apply a little bit on a sponge somewhere else, you know, somewhere else, just to see if I'm seeing glitter. Yeah, you guys, I am seeing, I don't know how, there is little specks of glitter, you know, just very little. 
which I don't know about that, you guys. Okay, so let's mix it in with uh, foundation. And I'm going to use uh, the Kosas one here, you guys. I love this foundation. I think it looks so nice on my mature skin. It lasts for hours when, you know, I set it right and all that. But um, it is wonderful. It has SPS, SPF of uh, 25 in here. And I'm trying to find the shade, you guys. But I'll put it in the description box, um, the shade. So how I think I'm going to do this is... Take my little palette here, put one pump, meh, maybe one and a quarter of a pump of the Kosas, and then I'm going to use um, one pump of uh, this one here, the Glow IV. So I'm going to just mix the two. Now, this foundation on me is a little, pulls a little yellow. So normally I would mix um, like a blue corrector, either the one from LA Girl or the new e.l.f. one just to neutralize that um, yellow. And I did bring down my blue, but I don't want to, you know, alter anything, you guys. Not that it ever does, but I just don't want anyone to think that, you know, that could have changed things. So we're just going to do everything all natural here, you guys. And as you can see, how beautiful that Kosas is. It just blends beautifully. Actually, um, I feel like this liquid or, or glow IV from Kosas kind of did neutralize that yellow on me a little bit. So. Okay, now here's the difference. Uh, the side with the foundation and just that um, glow IV. I don't know if I like this on its own, to tell you the truth. Um, it might be nice if you're going out, you know, in the summertime or something, but I just feel like it's almost um, Tin Manny <laughs> or something. Uh, but I do love it with the foundation. I think it looks super beautiful. Uh, let me see if I see any glitter coming through, you guys. And with the foundation, I am not seeing any glitter particles. Um yeah, it's just, uh, I do see it on this side. So let me just add um, a little bit, but let me come closer so you guys can take a look. Now here, um, it does accentuate my pores slightly, uh, not too awful, where I do feel like the e.l.f. one um, does conceal them a little bit more. So that is interesting. You guys, I'm definitely going to come back, I think, um, on another video and do a side-by-side -side with the e.l.f. because that is, you know, much more affordable. People say if their products are not lasting as long with the Kosas because it is such clean products, um, you know, there's not all the preservatives and all that, I guess, in their products. So um, people do say that their stuff goes bad. I haven't experienced that yet. And I've had mine for quite some time. So I don't know, you guys. <laughs> Who knows? So this is looking really pretty, though. I will say that. Um, and I didn't even put any primers down. I did not want to use any primers, even in my pores. Now, around my nose, um, they do fill in just slightly. Now, that could just be even from the foundation. Because, like I said, this is a good foundation, you guys. I love this foundation uh, a lot. Um, I think I will always have my Kosas in my collection. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. Looking like, and I think it looks really good, you guys. So let me come closer. But if you do love a really nice glow, this does give it to you. Okay, the difference between the e.l.f. from what I'm remembering, you guys, um, is I do like how this one feels, how it glides across my skin really easily. I feel like the um, e.l.f. one is a little bit drier of a formula, um, and sometimes I'm always afraid that it's going to make me look older or dry me out. So again, I cannot wait to do a side-by-side -side, uh, with those two. But as of right now, I think it looks really 
really pretty. And for my concealer, I think I'm going to use my Kosas and uh, try that out. I haven't used this in a long time. Again, you guys, it's super hard for me to see um, <laughs> what shades these are. So I will have, you know, them listed up here or definitely in the description box just to let you know what shade. But this is the applicator here. And again, I've just had really good luck with this. Because it is so creamy, I do have to set this concealer. Otherwise, it does crease up on me. And let's just blend this out. This is a really nice um, shade, I think, for my skin tone. It matches it pretty good. But I love how it blends out. It's, like I said, it's super creamy, super hydrating under my eyes. My eyes don't ever look dry for sure when I use this. Okay, so let me come closer so you guys can take a look at the concealer. Yeah, my daughter-in-law, this is all she buys. I think she has gone through, I don't know, four tubes. She uses it like crazy. So I brought down a lot of cream products, you guys. I think I just want to use, you know, more creamy products with this. Uh, I don't want to use a lot of powders just to see, you know, how the glow um, lasts. So I am going to use for my bronzer this LA Girl, and I love this, you guys. If you ever see this, because it's not in the stores a lot, uh, and it's called their Velvet Bronzer. It is such a good bronzer. I'm actually going to take this when I go to Florida because it's super long lasting. It's almost like it's waterproof. So I absolutely love it. And it will be perfect uh, for travel. So, and it's a great shade, you know, you can really build up on it. So if I do get any kind of sun, I can just, you know, use a little bit more and it will deepen up. And I love the shade, you know, and it has a, like a, almost a, red undertone which i would prefer than you know orange and i like putting a little bit on the side of my nose what i do is just um pinch my brush and just place a little bit on each side of my nose okay and for blush i think i'm going to use my nyx uh sweet cheeks and this is in the shade a baby doll i've been absolutely uh, loving this so i'm just going to place just a little bit i do remember this one is a little pigmented but not like you know the rare beauties or anything like that so you can use a little bit more i think you guys uh we will find out but no they blend absolutely beautifully super easy and it does dry down to a more a drier formula it's not you know super emollient or anything like that Ooh, it is so beautiful though i just love it it just kind of brightens up the whole face I am just going to use a little bit less on this side because there might be some of the products still on this brush. Hey guys, that looks super pretty. As you can see, there still is a lot of that glow coming through. So if you don't like a glow, you definitely will not like this product. My, you know, me, myself, I love a good glow. Okay, like I said, you guys, I definitely will need to set these under eyes. Um... You know, they're not creasing as bad today, hmm. but I'm going to use the Kosas and I got mine in the shade Featherly and it's the Cloud Set Powder. This is an amazing powder, you guys. Look at, I hit pan. Um, I used to use this all the time, like no matter what, I wouldn't even try anything else. But, you know, lately I have been and found some great products, but this is a wonderful a powder. So I'm going to place a little bit on a poof poof and this is the uh, uh, Beauty Blender one. And I am just going to place a little bit in my T-zone, you guys, because I do have some pores I do want to fill in, but I do want it to stay on my nose, too. And I always just uh, set the T-zone because you have to give the product some kind of chance if you ask me. But the good thing about um, this powder as well uh, is that, hold on, you guys, I'm going to grab a brush, I think, for my under eyes, and I'm just going to use my... Uh, Real Techniques brush and just slightly sweep that under the eyes and what was I saying you guys <laughs> uh, the t-zone I always just said it and because my nose becomes very oily throughout the day okay that looks really good um, under the eyes and I am just going to take more fluffy brush just to sweep off any excess everywhere 
Okay, you guys, I think I'm just going to finish off the eye look. I'm just going to place a little bit of um, eyeshadow under there, apply some lipstick, and I'll come back, and we'll just talk about this product, set the face, and yeah, I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, you guys, I just applied a little bit of the eyeshadow underneath the eyes, and then for liner, I used uh, this one here. It's called Lady Bold uh, by Too Faced, and this is in the shade, I believe, Badass. I just love this, though. It's so cute. I Hopefully, you guys will be able to, uh, to see it. It's like a little heart there and you know it does um click up on you know the heart to get more product i love that little eyeliner or lip liner so super creamy really nice uh lip liner and then i used uh the lady bold lipstick by Too faced these are just so nice and this is in the shade i'm thriving and when i first purchased it, it was so cute that was like a little heart you know shape of the lipstick and this would be perfect like for valentine's day you know <laughs> I think that would be a really cute gift. Okay, you guys, and then I did set my face. I used my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. I love this. Um, you guys, I have not been seeing this in my Ulta, so I'm getting a little worried uh, that they won't be carrying that. I don't know what's going on. Okay, you guys, let's also um, use this uh, uh, Kosas IV Glow or Glow IV as a highlighter because they said you could do that. And I'm just going to take a little bit and use my finger. Just tap that in. Oh, that looks really uh, pretty. And then I'm actually just going to take my sponge. I'm not with the side that has foundation, but just to really push that in. Okay, now I will say when you do that, it does uh, lighten um, the blush just slightly. So what I would do is just go over that with the blush. I do that a lot anyway, just to make it look more natural, but um, keep that in mind. It does kind of lighten the blush, but you know, any highlighter really is going to anyway, but I just, you know, could really tell using that. So, whoa, but if you want a good glow, it really does work as a highlighter. So I just put a little bit on the tip of the nose just to see if you can really tell. Oh, yeah, you guys, that really works super nice as a highlighter. And what I'm going to do, you guys, um, is try to take some pictures out in natural lighting. I'm actually heading to the doctor, you guys. Most of you know um, I do have Crohn's disease. And what I usually do is um, give myself a shot every week. Well, the shot, you know, the shot stopped working that, you know, whatever I was, whatever I was doing, uh, just stopped working. So they're going to try a new medicine. So I have to go in today and get an IV. Uh, the first time is just an IV for like three hours. And then after that, I will give myself a shot, but once every two months. So that's actually really nice. So that's where I'm heading right now. So I'm just going to be sitting um, in an office, you know, with an IV, probably falling asleep sleep but I'm going to take some pictures like I said out natural lighting uh, maybe while I'm uh, sitting at the doctor's office and also you know later on at night so right now it is like uh, 145 so um, I should be able to get a good eight hour wear on this just to see how everything you know sits with this um, uh, glow IV because I do know this you know formula here this foundation works amazing on its own so if things start slipping around or if it doesn't last, then this could be the problem. But <laughs> sorry, you guys, I'm super excited to try uh, that on. So yeah, you guys, that is um, the end of this part of the video. And but I do like it. Like I said, I don't know about wearing it on its own because it is super, super glowy. Um, I would like to do you know, use it again, you know, maybe, like I said, do a side by side with the elf and maybe up in my beauty room where the lighting is a little different. It's not all uh, that's artificial lighting is more natural. So maybe that's what I will do uh, just as an uh, uh, update. Okay, you guys, I'm going to head out to my doctors. I will see you guys in a little bit. Um, there is definitely a glitter in this product. Um, yeah, I'm seeing it really good out here in the natural sunlight. Um, the glitter is literally, you know, just bouncing off the sun. So let me turn the um, camera around so you can see what it looks like on my face. Okay, so I'm like really directly in the sun. 
but with the foundation, I think it looks actually nice so far. Uh, I'm not seeing the glitter so much, you know, with it mixed in with the foundation. Um, and I don't really feel like it's accentuating, you know, my fine lines and wrinkles. Now, had I done this, you know, wore it on its own, I, I think it really would have just accentuated all the texture, everything. But I hopefully you guys can pick up what it is looking like and see if you see any glitter. But I'm going to go inside, you guys, and I'll come back, you know, after, you know, a little while, maybe after the infusion, uh, to let you know how it looks then. So the infusion's all done, and I am so relieved because you can get a reaction, and I didn't, of course, but there's always that possibility, so I'm just so glad it's over. Anyway, so you saw that I had to wear a mask the whole time, so we're going to get a very good feel of how this um, foundation looks. So I was looking in the mirror, and it looks pretty good. Um, you know, there's hardly any transfer on the mask I was wearing, so, you know, of course it's black, so you really can't tell, but... Um, you would think that you would see something, and I'm not seeing anything on this mask, so that is pretty impressive. Um, but, you guys, it doesn't look bad. I still have a really uh, pretty glow going on. I'm not seeing uh, the glitter coming through on my face, and I don't feel like it's, like, super textured or anything. On my hand, you can really just see uh, the glitter going on. Now, it has, you know, wore off a little bit, you know, um, the longer that it has stayed on my hand, um, you know, because you're rubbing on things and uh, the glitter kind of just flakes off. But, you know, I think, you know, mixing it with the foundation or maybe even like uh, some skincare, it would be pretty. Um, so I'm not going to take it back or anything. I'm still going to play around with it. Uh, someone's looking at me because I'm talking to my phone. But, oh, well, you guys, I got to get used to uh, doing this kind of thing. But so as of right now, I'm liking it. And again, um, I was in there for maybe uh, two and a half hours with a mask on and it still looks good. But I'll do a check in later on, maybe around eight or nine o'clock and see what it looks like then. Okay, you guys, it is now eight hours later. Um, I'm going to try to keep this a little short because I am feeling a little woozy from that medication earlier. But if it's going to make me feel better in the long run, I will put up with this uh, for tonight. Okay, I'm going to come closer so you guys can take a look at the makeup. I am really torn on uh, that product. It is, you guys, I love the glow that it gives, but you know, if you get really close, you can really see, you know, that glitter. I like, you know, when I put it in with my foundation, the only thing is like certain areas, like even on my nose, I can't even explain what it looks like. It's almost like I took glitter and kind of just rubbed it in. Uh, it's the only thing, I can, you know, I can explain, but the makeup still is on my nose. It looks a little cakey uh, around the edges here. Um, and then and let me take a closer look again, you guys. Yeah, I can still just see the glitter um, on my forehead. And that is because I did add it as a highlighter up there. So that I'm just going to let slide too. I am seeing more texture now than I did uh, earlier. But you guys, I did wear a mask all, you know, for those hours that I was getting the IV. And I think, you know, my makeup still looks pretty intact. I just want to show you something really quick, too, and I just want to see if it makes a difference. Um, I've just been wanting to bring this back on the channel because I've been really enjoying this. And I want you to see how glowy my uh, skin looks right now. And the way I like applying this Mally product, um, if you guys haven't seen it before, it's called the uh, Face Defender. And this is powder, but it's almost like a, I don't know, like a balm. But I like applying it with a brush better than that sponge. So I'm just going to place a little bit on this brush. And you are going to see how it calms down the shine. So I am also curious to see if it's going to make a difference on how my nose is looking right now. Um, earlier, it did not look, I don't know how to like it. I can't explain what it looks like. Almost like... Yeah, it's just very almost like iridescent or something. Um, it's a very hard way to put it, you guys, because I've never seen anything like that before. But as you can see, look at how it just took that shine completely away. Um, this stuff is unbelievable. And I love using it uh, as a primer and as um, my powder, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. Okay, now my nose looks way better now that I did that. Um, it really took down that... Tin Man um, look, 
and, and it really did help with the pores here. So you guys, this is a miracle little powder. Um, if anything, you know, it's not uh, cheap, I will say that, but it is worth the money. You use very little, and so this will last quite some time. So I really have been loving this. Um, so that's about it, you guys. I'm just really torn on this product, and I don't want to return it um, at this point because I really liked how my makeup looked um, when I first applied it. I think it looked very nice. Uh, again, I would not wear this on its own, you know, being mature with textured skin and pores. Um, but when I applied it in with the foundation, I think it looks really nice. Again, it's just one of those things I'm going to have to play around with you guys. But for $38, you know, um, I don't know. You know, I would not even recommend it at this point to you um, unless you do like that super uh, glowy, the glitter um, look, you know, then absolutely, you would absolutely love this. I'm going to keep it, you guys, again, because I kind of, you know, like it. All right, you guys, I'm going on a rant and I am going to go lay down. So thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, if you please help me out by hitting that like button, I would truly appreciate it. All right, you guys, I love you so much. I can't wait to see you again. And until next time.